It's going to be a quick overview of the Rep Fitness urethane coated iron plates or otherwise known as equalizer plates. So these urethane coated equalizer plates are a step up from the rubber coated plates in fit finish. They are certainly a little bit more polished in quality than the rubber coated plates. I wouldn't really say or take anything away from the rubber coated plates, but when you step up in price, there is an expectation that quality improves, and that is certainly the case with the urethane coated plates. They're just a little bit more polished all around, and the accuracy of the plates is very consistent with the rubber coated plates, so I wouldn't really say that there's a difference in that regard because these are pretty accurate and consistent, but these are nicer. They just have a nice quality feel to it, the urethane gives the impression that these will last perhaps a little longer. I think for home gyms, there's no question these will last a lifetime. There's been no indication that the rubber coating on this will start to break down and deteriorate in any way, shape, or form. But that being said, urethane is more durable than rubber. So it's just really a matter of preference. If you have a home gym that you really want to kind of jazz up with nice plates, and some people go with competition plates, some people go with training bumpers, and what have you, or you know, expensive iron plates. I got these because, again, they were in stock, number one. Number two, I thought they were a great bang for the buck, and it turns out they are. So I have no regrets at all with these, but these are a little bit of a step up. I don't have any intentions of purchasing more of these, per se, you know, like in the other increments of 35, 25, and so on, because I have enough of those plates. I did need some additional 45s. As I get stronger and I wanted more weight to have, decided to go with the equalizer plates. No regrets with these. They are slightly more expensive than the rubber coated plates, but I think they're definitely worth it. And if you had the two to compare, you would know these are definitely a step up from those. So I just want to show you the difference in sound based on the material that you have in the coating. I have another urethane coated plate on this end, and you can listen to the sound difference when it touches upon the other urethane plate here. See that? It's a more dense sound because the coating is more dense than the rubber coating plate. So now I'll show you the difference between the rubber coating. And keep in mind, on the inside of these plates are iron plates. See that? It's more of a silent thud. One more time and listen to the urethane. So that's the difference in sound quality, but in terms of, you know, overall quality, weight, consistency, so on, not much of a difference. These are gonna sound louder than the rubber coated plates or bumpers. Because of the density, they're not gonna bounce as much. And because of that, the contact of the sleeve of the barbell on the inside is gonna be a little louder too. For all of that force is going to be transferred to the inside, making contact with the sleeve. One thing to consider when purchasing your plates is your use. If you're planning to use these kinds of plates for deadlifts, you might want to consider a softer plate like the rubber coated iron plates or standard bumper plates because of the density of these. They aren't going to sound louder when making contact with the ground, even if you have horse stone laps. I do recommend these, and if you're starting out and you have the opportunity to get a whole set of these, I would definitely recommend that as well. So those are my thoughts on the equalizer plates, the urethane coated equalizer plates from Rep Fitness. A very nice quality plate at a pretty decent price. These are about $220 for a pair of 45s. These are often in stock, and even when they go out of stock, you might be able to find them in another day or two of waiting. Whereas the other increments, 35s and below, are a little more challenging to find in stock. If you want something a little more refined, a little more polished, and you're willing to spend a little bit more money, these equalizer plates are a really nice option. And in fact, if I had to do it all again and I was buying them from the start and I had a choice because stock was available in both of them, I would spend more money on the equalizer plates, the urethane coated equalizer plates, because they are just that much nicer than the rubber coated plates. That's it. Those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video and I appreciate your time again, so thanks for joining me. I will be posting the update to my training vlog week two, probably on Sunday afternoon. So thanks again. Take care.